Well, I'm excited. We have a new cruise coming up with a cruise line that is completely new to us, but there are also some personal and channel updates that I wanted to share with you and some things that I'm genuinely struggling with. Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifewellcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now this video is going to be different than most of the other videos that I make because it really is a bit of a channel update, a bit of a personal update. And I wanna share with you the upcoming cruise that we're doing, what the cruise is, why I think that you hopefully will be interested in it. But at the same time, it's something that I'm genuinely so anxious so nervous about that will probably surprise you. Now, before I get started, I did wanna mention that if you like this video, if you find it helpful, informative, or enjoyable, you know the drill, then please do give this video a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe if you haven't done so already. I'd love to have you here within the LifeWell Cruise community. Just to let you know, we are now over 91,000 subscribers. So we're in the home stretch to 100,000 subscribers. And I'd love to have you here if you haven't already joined us. So first I'll share with you some channel and personal updates, both the good and the bad, and then I will share with you the information about our upcoming cruise. So in terms of the channel, obviously things have on the most part been going very, very well. And I'm very happy that I left my full-time job. It was honestly something that when I first left, it took me a couple of months to even get used to being in this routine where I didn't have to go to work. It was definitely something that's good. I'm now getting used to sort of entrepreneurial life. It's something completely new to me, but I am really enjoying this. The part though that is a little bit difficult, just being honest, and it's not a complaint, is the good part is going on a lot of cruises, planning more cruises. That is really something good, something that I always wished I could do. The sort of bad part or part that I'm struggling with, that's maybe a better way to say it, is really finding that balance because I find myself when I'm on a cruise, and maybe some of you have felt this way when you're doing something, that I'm finding it sometimes hard to be present in the moment. And part of that is because I'm trying to document uh, the cruise to be able to use different parts for content in the future. And I'm often thinking about work when I'm on a cruise. And I started this channel and my blog, lifewellcruise.com, because I do love cruising and I do love traveling. So it really is something important to me that I learn to balance that so that I am actually enjoying all of these great opportunities. Now, in terms of my channel, while this isn't something that I struggle with, it is something that I am trying to balance just in terms of the content that I create on my channel. So I know that I create a lot of cruise tips and packing videos. Personally, I love that content. I also really love destination information, ship information. So it is something that I'm just continuously kind of trying to work on. And I also know there are some videos that honestly, when they first come out, they will not usually do very well. Those are the ones that are about destinations. It's just normal, right? If a video comes up on your feed and you're not going to that cruise port, maybe you're not gonna click on that. So that does sort of lower the reach of that video, but I do really hope that with search and with time that those videos will sort of resurface on YouTube and those will be helpful resources for people. Now, by the way, this is probably a good time to ask you if you have video suggestions, topic suggestions, anything that you really like that I am doing, please let me know down in the comments below this video so I can continue to create more of that. Now for the good. So in terms of the channel, I'm really happy with the progress of the channel and I couldn't be more thankful to you. So thank you so much to everybody who subscribed for all of the views, uh, the comments, especially the really nice comments. I really do appreciate it and it helps me to make future videos and I know it also helps other people. Now I do occasionally get some comments that are not so nice, but those are few and far between. But I still go by this philosophy, which is that if I'm making a video that is helpful or informative or entertaining to even one person, then I am doing my job and I am happy with that. Now also in terms of the progress of the channel, some of you have mentioned it to me or have sent me the article by Gary from Tips for Travelers. He keeps a running sort of list or blog post of the top cruise vloggers. And basically what he does is he compiles the statistics of the views and the subscribers of all of the cruise content creators. He has a list, I believe of it's over 140 different cruise vloggers. And it's really nice to see the progress that our channel has made and as well the progress of all of the different channels in this space. I am very proud to be part of the cruise community of content creators and of course, very proud to be amongst the community of cruise travelers. Okay, so this leads me to the very good news about our upcoming cruise 
as well as the reason that I am very, very anxious and what I am doing about it. So in terms of the cruise, something that I mentioned when I left my full-time job and I decided to pursue this channel full-time was that I was really open to some of the different opportunities that had been out there for me. So one of those opportunities is I did have a cruise line that reached out to us to invite my husband and I on a press trip or a hosted cruise. Now this cruise line was actually a cruise line that was on my radar. I was hoping to be able to cruise with this cruise line in 2023 because I didn't honestly have any other cruises that I had planned already for 2022. And of course, I'd love to be able to try every cruise line and every cruise ship, but there is a matter of money, but also time. So I was very happy when Holland America reached out to us to invite us to experience one of their pinnacle class cruise ships. Now, Holland America is a cruise line that I have been very interested in. It really is in line with, I think, what we really like to do on cruise ships. And if I'm being honest, at the same time, I've really been hearing a lot of good since the restart about Holland America. Now, I'm gonna share with you the details of this cruise and I have a couple of questions for you. But first, I did want to tell you what really happened when I did get the email from Holland America. And the first thing that I said to my husband was, ah, Holland America invited us on a press trip or a hosted cruise. And then he was like, oh, that's so good. And then I said, oh my God, that means I have to fly there. So truly, I've mentioned this before, but I really have some severe flight anxiety. It has become worse over the years, I guess, the longer that I haven't flown, maybe my anxiety about it has sort of increased. Um, and we usually drive to cruise ports. So we oftentimes drive like a few hours, so maybe six hours or so if we're driving from where we live to New York and even 24 hours when we drive to Florida. Now, usually we stay a few days uh, before the cruise. So I can kind of use that as an excuse. I'm using my car when I'm down in Florida, so it makes a lot of sense. But in reality, I am very nervous to fly. Now, by the way, if you have any flight anxiety, please let me know down in the comments below. So what I did decide to do, because I knew that when I pursued this full time, that I would have to start flying to cruise ports. And one of the reasons was because I knew we were going to cruise more, whether they were hosted trips or we were doing all of these trips on our own, we knew that this was part of, well, basically our life going forward. So I did know it was something that I would have to deal with, but it has been actually something that's been stopping me from even getting excited for this cruise because I have been so nervous. Oh, by the way, for those of you who've been asking for a packing video for packing light or packing carry-on only, that is coming out this week, so make sure that you do watch out for that. Um, but at the same time, I have been doing something when it comes to like my flight anxiety, I decided to try to do something about it, something very proactive. This is a really personal video. Uh, so what I decided to do was to go see a therapist about it, so I did. Um, he is really, really very nice. And already from the very first session, I felt some amount of relief just being able to talk about it. Uh, he already taught me some techniques. I will be going back again uh, before my cruise to be able to talk about this a little more, learn a little more techniques, have some strategies to be able to deal with my flight anxiety. But honestly, my goal is not only to be less anxious for um, my flight and to get on that flight, which I will do, um, but is actually to enjoy the experience. So we did talk about a few things. Some of those things include finding ways to make my flight more comfortable. Other things included techniques, including grounding techniques. If you'd like to know more once we do fly and I learn these techniques and just even seeing how this goes, if you have any flight anxiety, let me know if you'd actually like to see a video about that. But basically that's the gist of what I have been struggling with. Okay, so now for the cruise, because that really is the exciting part. So we are going to be on Holland America's new Staten Dam. Oh my goodness, what an absolutely stunning ship. So this is a pinnacle class ship. Now, true story, we were docked next to the Conings Dam, so a sister ship, um, in January 2022. So really not that long ago. And we looked over at that ship from our princess ship and we were like, oh my goodness, it is such a beautiful ship. We could see um, the Lido deck, the pools from our ship, and I thought it looked absolutely stunning. So that's when it started to be on my radar to be able to cruise um, on this class of ship. So we're gonna be on the Staten Dam. We're doing a seven day Caribbean cruise. 
And I just love Caribbean cruises for truly relaxing. I'm gonna be like, I think honestly also trying to sort of find some balance on this cruise. Of course, I'm gonna be sharing with you some information. So let me know what you'd like to know about cruising with Holland America. And just to let you know, because this is something that I always wondered about, and I really do like to be upfront, is you might be wondering, what is Holland America requesting from me? What do I have to do for Holland America to kind of have this hosted trip? So being honest with you, they have asked me for absolutely nothing. So of course I am going to share our cruise experience, our honest cruise experience. I'm gonna be sharing with you some different things that you'd like to know about the trip from the destinations to the cruise ship itself. But as always, you're gonna get my genuine thoughts and views about the cruise, along with some helpful tips that can help you if you are thinking about doing a Holland America cruise in the future. Now, please let me know if you've ever cruised with Holland America, or if you've been thinking of it, please let me know down in the comments below this video. Now, by the way, I'm gonna leave a video right after this one. It is all about the five things I would never do as a cruise travel expert. It's a little bit of a trend. It is a fun video. So make sure that you do check that out next if that's something that you might be interested in. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please do give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Bye for now and happy cruising.